Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Acer Predator X34P Ultra Wide Monitor, which is the successor to the widely popular X34, which I covered when it released way back in 2015. This monitor is currently retailing for around $1,100 depending on the seller and when you're looking to buy, which is not bad when you consider all the features Acer has packed in to this monitor. And if you want pricing info or where you can pick it up at the end of this video, I'll have an Amazon link down in the description below. The X34P is a marginal improvement over the original version, but the areas that Acer focused on address some of the criticisms made by many reviewers on the first model. I would go as far as to say Acer has taken arguably the best ultra-wide monitor over the past few years and come up with the must-own ultra-wide display of 2018, at least until we start seeing 200Hz versions with HDR, which are expected to release at some point in late 2018 or early 2019. So what changes have Acer made with the X34P that make it so good? For starters, they've improved the refresh rate from 100Hz up to 120Hz, which can easily be set in the NVIDIA control panel without the need for overclocking the display. I know that only adding 20Hz may seem minor, but as a high refresh rate gamer, I can personally notice the difference and prefer the 120Hz. This is one thing that sets them apart from the competition as well, since Asus is not doing this right now on their 3440 by 1440 displays, who is probably Acer's biggest competitor in the monitor space. They've also added in swivel as a way of adjusting the monitor, which was absent on the previous version, and I find it to be a welcomed improvement. You still also maintain the ability to adjust the height of the monitor in addition to tilt functionality. Acer has also opted to ditch the glossy backside of the monitor in favor of a matte black, which looks a lot better and doesn't attract fingerprints as easily, if at all. And lastly, they've made it so you can cycle through the on-screen display with a small joystick, as opposed to the button layout of the X34, and this is much appreciated. Besides these changes, there isn't a whole lot different in terms of specs. The X34P is still rocking a gorgeous, 3440 by 1440 IPS panel with a 1900R curve and a 4 millisecond response time. Peak brightness is at 300 nits and the contrast ratio sits at 1000 to 1, which is very good for an IPS panel. You won't get as deep blacks as a VA panel, but Acer does have a similar monitor with the Z35P that does use vertical alignment if that's what you're after, instead of the better color reproduction that IPS happens to offer. The Z35P is also a fair but cheaper at under $900 and still maintains the 120Hz refresh rate that we're seeing here. If you want my full review on that monitor, check the card in the top right of the video right now. I will also say that the colors on the X34P are superb and extremely vibrant at the desktop and in gaming. I've been using it for two months now doing content creation in addition to playing lots of Rainbow Six Siege and in both of these scenarios it doesn't miss a beat. It was really the perfect combination for someone like me that likes to work and play equally from the same setup. I did have to do a few tweaks in the OSD to get the display looking the way I want it, which I didn't find necessary on the older X34, which had looked perfect right out of the box, honestly. I'll have my calibration settings on the screen now, so if you pick up an X34P, you can get them tweaked to look as good as possible, or at least as good as I was able to set them on my display to be as accurate as possible. The on-screen display options are also quite robust, so you can really fine-tune everything to your liking, such as the included lighting along the bottom of the monitor, which I tended to leave on a solid white to give my desk some extra illumination in the evening. You can of course go through various different colors and modes or disable it completely if that's what you're wanting to do. G-Sync also makes a return here, which is an amazing technology for PC gamers using NVIDIA GPUs that makes gameplay buttery smooth if your frame rate is fluctuating a lot, which is very possible when you're trying to push this many pixels. I'm currently running a GTX 1080 Ti in my main system, and there isn't a single game I can't max out at this resolution, but I would recommend at least a GTX 1070 or higher if you're wanting to get into ultra-wide gaming 
at 3440 by 1440 at high settings or above. Acer has stuck to its guns on the wide metal legs that jut out from underneath the monitor that feel very solid, but do take up a fair amount of desk real estate. There is also a red plastic accent for routing your cables here to help keep your setup neat. If I had one complaint, it would be to ditch the red on here as it doesn't really work with everyone's setup. Maybe just a simple black would look better, but that's just my preference. If you disagree, let me know down in the comments below. There's also virtually no bezel here on the X34P at the top and sides of the monitor. We do have a small gap between the edge of the slim bezel and where the image goes up to, but on a 34 inch ultra wide, I doubt it's something you would ever really notice. Notice. There is still a textured bezel at the bottom portion of the monitor with their Predator branding, although it's slightly more subdued than its previous version. Of course, with high-end monitors, there are other concerns outside of just features, so let's get into the testing I did here on the X34P. With this being a 120Hz ultra-wide, frame skipping was something that I wanted to check for, but I'm happy to report that there was zero going on here. This footage was captured with a high frame rate camera at 240 frames per second so that we can slow it down and see if any frames were missed, which I can report there were no frames missed, so you're getting a true 120Hz here with the Acer X34P. Ghosting was also minimal to non-existent in the normal overdrive mode when running the UFO test, which is par for the course on a good IPS panel with four millisecond response time. This is something Acer has handled very well going all the way back to the XB270HU, which was my first monitor that I had ever purchased from Acer. Color and gradient banding were also not an issue, and I'm happy to report there were no dead pixels, at least on the sample that I received, but of course your mileage may vary on that. I was able to observe some IPS glow, but it was only evident in a dark room with an all black screen and using a camera. I will emphasize that this was not something I could see with the naked eye in gaming or desktop use, and even with the all black screen up in a dark room, I could barely notice a very small hotspot in the bottom left corner, so I wouldn't be concerned about backlight bleed or IPS glow on the X34P at all. So all in all, I think Acer has done an excellent job with improving on the X34 in the areas that needed work and deliver what I would call the best ultra wide gaming monitor here in the first half of 2018. The addition of 120 Hertz is really what's separating them from the rest of the pack to give them that slight edge and main reason that I would personally choose the X34P over something from their competitors like Asus. I wouldn't say there's enough here to warrant an upgrade from the original X34, but if you're wanting to get into ultra wide gaming for the first time, then this is where I would start, especially if you're an NVIDIA user that can take advantage of G-Sync. It is somewhat pricey at over $1,000, but you really have to consider the sum of its parts and decide if it's going to be worth it for you. Of course, if you do want to pick one up or get further information, I'll have an affiliate link down in the description below over to Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already. And if you have been here for a while, you can always ring the notification bell so you never miss a moment of content here on the channel. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another video. Ta-ra!